Hey, what is up guys? It's Tech Table here, and this is not a real iPhone 6 Plus. It is actually a fake iPhone 6 Plus. I grabbed it from AliExpress for about $90, but plus shipping, and since it came from China, it was about $120. There are a lot of better fake iPhones out there. I was really interested to see how this worked and see what this is like. So I'm just going to start off with the back of the box. So you can see here it says 128 gigs but they never are what they say so that it's not 128 gigs I think it's 16. It ha it says it includes the iPhone 6 AirPods with remote uh, and mic lightning to USB cable and USB power adapter. It does say iPhone on the sides but nothing else on the other sides. This box does seem cheap because it's been dented and stuff like that. You can see the creases here. You can see all the dents just around here which seem very weird for an actual iPhone 6 box but you can actually still see like the iPhone 6 like the original iPhone 6 box has the outlined phone just with your head like your your piece here and your home button there so let's get off with the box you do not get an iPhone in bubble wrap or in anything so that's the first sign that it's fake sim card ejector tool which seems to be roughly cut out of metal which is not good quality like the regular, I doesn't have to be great quality. Now, usually you get a couple pages of manuals, but literally you get one manual telling you about the phone. And then if you turn to the back, it actually tells you how to turn it on and then tells you to go to Apple's website. Power brick, um, for some reason you get it in a bag, you're not really sure why. Slip that plastic off of there. And you can see it feels very, very light. You got your lightning cable here. You have this part on the real one is actually a bit smaller, but this this uh, metal part, that connector on this one looks shinier, it doesn't look like good metal. And you got this part just for the USB and this plugs into the phone. We're going to test that out later, we'll see how it charges and stuff. So in the box you have that and you just have this thing in here. And then it says Apple EarPods, but they are lying a lot because these are not even EarPods. These are actually the original Apple headphones, but they're not even the original. They're not even close. You can hear them shaking inside. Like, just, they're so cheap. Like, usually the regular Apple headphones have rubber around them. Real Apple headphones. And it's funny how they tell you they're ear pods. Usually, the fake iPhones, you actually get fake ear pods. But again, this is the cheaper version of the fake ones, which kind of seems weird to say so first I'm just gonna show you guys these parts you can see here this looks nice and clean and this looks big and bulky and doesn't look good quality the part that you have the mic on the Apple the real one has the plus and the minus and then you can actually click them but this one doesn't doesn't I don't even think it clicks it doesn't seem to make any clicking noise there's a mic there I guess that would work and then the actual headphones itself, they look the same, but you can tell this one's real over here. This one has the rubber part on it. This one looks like it does, but it doesn't. The fake ones don't even tell you which ear to put them in. They're not even left or right. They're literally the same earphones. Heading on to the phone, which everybody's always waiting for. You get your bubble wrap, which I guess that's fun to have. You can just kind of sit here and do this. That's probably the best thing about this. And then you have your little plastic thing in here with your phone inside. So, first off, you have your home button, which has a fake version of Touch ID. Putting your finger on it, or any finger on it, halfway on, halfway off, anybody's finger, it will work, even if you put your own finger in, doesn't matter. Nice big size screen, it's not HD. You have your front facing camera, which I think is one or two megapixels. You have your uh, speaker here, and then you have your sensor there. On the right side of the phone, you have your SIM card ejector port where you put your SIM card in. It sticks right in there for some reason. It doesn't even pop out. There we go. That's weird. It should come out. So you can tell here the damage. I don't know if you can see that. This on the real phone is, is metal, but this isn't metal at all. It's plastic, and you can tell because it's some damage there. I actually got my car SIM card stuck in there, so I'm not going to even bother putting it in. Power button here. They seem to click good. On the left side, you got your volume rockers. 
and I just turned it on just by clicking it a couple times. Volume rockers and your little switch here between vibrate and sound. On the back of the phone you have your antennas kind of here and I don't even think they're real because they look fake. Uh, it says iPhone here. You got your little logo here which seems to scratch very easily. You got your two tone or multi-tone flash which is literally just two filters with a tiny tiny flash little light which barely does anything. You got your mic and you got your 5 megapixel camera I think and this stuff scratches very easily. This is probably just regular glass. On the bottom you got your headphone jack, you got I guess a mic there too, and your port for charging and your speaker here. Now I found on the back usually iPhones say designed by Apple in California and assembled in China. This one says designed by Apple in China, assembled in China, so I guess that's kind of one thing you can tell that it's fake. I can actually bend the phone a bit. I don't know if you can tell that, but I can bend the phone just a tiny bit. Just enough to make it look like a curve. I don't know if you can see that. Plugs into there, which seems to go diagonally in. Plug this into the wall right here. And here is your port. Plug this in. It seems to be rough putting it in. Usually iPhones, they're easy to put in. It's, it does say it's charged, and it doesn't look like it charges. It says right there, it's charged to 94%, but it goes away, and it looks like it stops charging, but it doesn't. So swiping up from the bottom here, you have your Wi-Fi, uh, your airplane mode, your Bluetooth, your do not disturb, and your screen rotation lock. You have your brightness here. You have your sound here. This is a song. She's just gonna test the speaker. Now that is not my music. These are just preloaded songs on here. I'm gonna go plug these headphones in and see what they're like. I think it's running Android 4.4.2. Sound like they're gonna break, so I really prefer not to put them in my ears. So uh, you got AirDrop here, which actually I guess does work. Flashlight, timer calculator and camera now you can see here the flash on this thing does not work usually I cannot stare at this because it is so bright but I can really stare at that now because it is so dim it doesn't even work as a flashlight really looks like the real iPhone calculator let's go to timer here you can tell it's fake just by the way it lags the noise that this button makes it moves around and you can kind of see the background moving around too as well it doesn't look as good as the real iPhone though Swiping back and forth from your apps seem to be somewhat smooth, but you can tell it's not that great. Uh, you can see you got a folder here with Oprah Mini, uh, whatever that browser is, an app market, which nobody knows what that is. Some random stuff on here. iMovie, which isn't even iMovie. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it doesn't seem to... For some reason, there's like lines on the screen. I don't know why. You get your video, you get photo, square, panorama, and slow-mo, apparently. So I'm just going to go through a couple out and show you guys what it is. Messages look the same. You can tell the phone kind of rocks because of the camera on the back. I'm going to go into settings. Settings looks exactly the same. Uh, going into general, looks pretty much all the same. I don't think there's Siri on here. Yeah, so here we go. It just kind of opens up this Android thing. Send a text, navigate, call, send email, map, go to, call, note, to self, directions, web search. Typing makes a weird vibration noise and it vibrates. And I don't think you can turn that off, which sucks. Because I, I hate that on phones, vibrating. Um, turning it to the side, you can do landscape mode. So anyways, I'm not going to put in any of my information on this phone as I don't trust it because it's a fake phone. I'm not going to show you every app. They pretty much all look the same. App Store does take you to the Play Store. Um, doing the part where you can use your phone with one hand, that works. And stuff like that. It pretty much is an iPhone, except it's just, it's not as fast. It's not as good quality. Uh, it doesn't charge as fast. And the battery doesn't seem to last that long. But if you want to use it for uh, drop tests or cases or anything like that, or even want to give it to your 
kid for like their first phone. Good phone for somebody who doesn't want to pay full price for an iPhone 6 Plus and doesn't really care if they have a cheap, slow version of it and they just want to call and text. I guess that's what you would use it for. It requires a nano SIM card and I don't really want to have to get another SIM card for this. And I don't really want to cut my SIM card, so that's not a really good idea. That's pretty much of it this video, guys. Leave a like and a comment and subscribe to see more of my videos. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one.